right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Valandis back with another video. And before everybody, you know, start, and you know, the, the title of this video, I just feel like automatically would ruffle some feathers and, you know, get people a little bit in their feelings, especially the old school film photographers, very, you know, people who really, really, really appreciate the beginning times of film photography and stuff like that. But to be fair, I see life in color. I would say that my expertise is in color, not to say I'm an expert on color or anything. I just think um, for the type of photography I do, I like when colors are present. I like um, for the colors in my photos to tell and a story and i feel like very 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 good photographers use black and white film and can still tell these stories and you have to be like just uh you don't have to be an amazing photographer to take very good black and white photos but i do think very good good very good photographers can use black and white like all the time in any situation and still take very very good images whereas i'm just a person who really likes color like I just I'm in love with color I study colors uh, you know lights and stuff like that but today we are going to be shooting with some Ilford HP 5 and yeah just seeing how this goes I'm not gonna lie I've shot black and white film in the past and from what I shot with it I've liked the images but I just don't I, I never I don't shoot it a lot it's not like my go-to film it's not something I always think about shooting I uh, I don't I said in a title that like I find it boring but to me I'm coming from digital like shooting on digital and only digital whereas everything was shot in color and then if I wanted it to be black and white I could put it in black and white some of my favorite images that I've taken I've converted to black and white so I do I am a fan of black and white images I do think black and white images are perfect for documentary work sports and just like telling these stories it just it just gives a different vibe and feel to photos and the things you're trying to you know portray in your photo so we're gonna go out uh meet up with my friend and just shoot some black and white and see how that goes so let's go do it sam go stand by the uh go stand by the door All right. yeah. come closer to Damn cats. <laughs> he like, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> that nigga got Chick-fil-A they on his ass. <laughs> Look, he out of there. Oh, car coming. Damn, they're like my first time shooting black and white too, for real, on this channel. It's sinister. Booty. It's an HP5. Yeah. Niggas ain't seen me shoot no black and white on this channel. Have they? Have I shot black and white? I don't remember. I don't think I have. You never liked the black and white. I never liked the black and white? No. Oh, we gonna see this time, right? You I just think like it again. I just I, I like respect black and white, but I just think it's like I think so. We're going to see. Hope so. Let me get the front of the car, like just the front. Uh, sun coming out. All right, babe, go to the other side real quick. All right, one, two. We'll do one more like that from this side. How many shots I got left, so. All right, man, we'll come to the other side real quick. All right, one, two. Perfect, I'm gonna get one more just like this. That's the last one, too. All right, perfect. Bet. 
Hold on, wait, stay in there. I'm about to get some uh, footage of you on the other camera. All right, as y'all can see, we went out and we shot some photos. I did very much enjoy shooting um, the HP5 and the, the photos that I got from it. I did shoot some color alongside the black and white just to kind of compare and see where where I was at with it, if I was tripping or if like I really just really always preferred color over black and white and in my opinion i kind of like these black and white photos more than i like the color photos like i said for documentary work it works out perfectly and it kind of gives you a different vibe tells a different story just gives you i don't know like i don't know the word to say but it gives you it puts you in a place that's different from when you see color photos i shot these black and white photos next to these um color photos just to see which ones i would like more and i'm i'm gonna have to say for what I was going for, the black and white handled it a little bit better than the color did. Like I said, documentary work, this was my friend in his car in the neighborhood where he grew up and around these houses and these people and all these things. And I kind of just wanted to capture that and I felt like capturing it, on, capturing it on black and white did it justice a little bit more than, a little bit more than shooting it, shooting it on color. Now don't get me wrong, the color images are also in my opinion pretty good and i like those as well but like i said it comes down to the story you're trying to tell and just what you're trying to portray within your photos but um hp5 i feel like hp5 is like the only black and white film i've ever shot i think i shot some delta like 3200 i think it is and it just when i develop it when i developed it it didn't come out at all like it was just a blank roll of photos so I think it went to waste, but you know, high latitude film, the highlights are very good. The blacks are deep and nice, which I really like a lot because when I do black and white, I do like for my blacks to be, you know, black and the whites to be, you know, white. And I, I like the little bit of grain. It's a 400 speed film. So it's, you know, I, it's comparable to shooting portrait 400 for color in my opinion. And it's just, it's just a very good, you know, versatile black and white film which i love one one of my friends i'm not re i don't remember who i think it's sam who likes triax a lot but i don't know man i just i like i like uh ilford i know kodak makes some very good uh black and white films but i'm 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 really fucking with uh ilford hp5 to be exact i think that's like the the main black and white film i've shot with since i've shot black and white film which is not often but when i do shoot black and white is pretty much the hp5 plus which i very much like let me look at some things i'm not that you know i don't not that very i'm not that knowledgeable on black and white film like i said i don't pretend that i know things when i don't um some of these things in these videos i learn along with you guys which i think is very dope because most of these things a lot of these things are a learning experience for me that i just kind of take y'all on a journey for which it's kind of dope to me it's it's not like it takes the pressure off of being a know-it-all like there's a bunch of videos on youtube where they explain all these things and every single technical aspect of film and the film that you shoot with whereas i i just shoot with the shit and i kind of tell you my experience and let you know how i feel about it and that's all that i kind of want to do just give you my experience a real person's experience not like this film nerd very technical aspect of photography type of experience i'm just a regular person like if a regular person who had no idea what they were doing me you know picked up a film camera and started doing stuff and kind of documented their experience that's kind of where i want to be not to say that i don't know anything but when i don't know something i don't pretend that i do so i don't shoot with black and white film very often so i don't know a lot about it a lot of people may think that i might uh sound stupid or come across as stupid as i've been told in my comments plenty of times that you know i'm dumb stupid don't know what i'm talking about but hey whatever here we are for me that is going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did not i do not care if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor hit the subscribe button like this video please it would you know help your boy out quite a bit if you are subscribed to the channel you are already doing what you need to be doing and i am not talking to you but if you don't have that bell ring go ahead and ring that young bell so you know you get notified every single time i drop a new video but that's gonna wrap it up for me hope you guys you know got something out of it like i always like to say and uh yeah let's get out here let's go do some shit